Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wrestling fans, and welcome to the 3X Wrestling Internet Exclusive. This time we've got a match for you from January of 2006 at New Year's Revenge. Eric Cannon was at this point the 3X Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion. He's taking on a man who was making quite a name for himself in 3X Wrestling, Darren Corbin. Chad Milan and Skylar Pierce have the call. Hello everyone, and this is 3XW's Internet Wrestling Match of the Month. I'm the voice of 3XW, Chad Milan, and I'm here with Skylar Pierce. That's right, the best damn color commentator in the business today. And this match is going to be for the 3XW Cruiserweight Championship, Darren Corbin taking on the current 3XW Cruiserweight Champion, Eric Cannon. That's right, this is the first time we've seen Darren Corbin here in 3X Wrestling. We are at the uh, Hoover High School here. Seems like a very arrogant young man. Well, arrogance is good sometimes. But I see he's wearing the Doink Collection. Nice, by Estee Lauder. Yes. And his belt is scrolling. That's right. That way he gets his uh, words through his belt. His advertisement of Darren Corbin. Why can't he just have merchandise? He's got to have a belt to promote himself. The belt is cool. And so is he. With the doing collection. It's got the D on the Apparently, pants. Apparently his belt says that everyone sucks. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponents. There he is, the current 3XW Cruiserweight Champion, Eric Cannon. Spike here and all. I think he can use that spike here to pull it up. What? I mean, look at it. It is a very pointy... Hair. It's a mohawk. Yes, but it's very pointy. You can put an eye with that. You c No, you couldn't. I've seen it happen. Wh where? Not in the wrestling room, but I've seen it happen. Do you no, you haven't. Yes, I have. That's no, you haven't. You're a liar. Oh. Yeah. It's a referee, Billy J. Siding. You and uh, Billy J. really don't like each other, do you? I don't really care for most officials here in the company. But they don't go to the, th go to the Skylar Pierce Wrestling Referee Academy. Uh-huh. There's the collar and elbow tie-up. Eric Cannon. Ringing out that arm. There's a roll through by Darren Corbin. Darren Corbin, nice reversal on the arm. Eric Cannon now. It's a nice looking reversal for Darren Corbin. They go behind the hammer lock right into a side headlock. You know, I just mentioned the fact that he, he wears a, a doink type gear. Right. And the crowd is calling him doink. No, he's not doink. Matt Bourne is doink. He might, he There's might. There's a lot of doinks. Right. But I'm just saying he was the original. He's looking like Doink right now in the ring. Because he got his arm leg dropped. Oh, 
Eric Canna once again working on that arm. Nice to go behind right into a side headlock. Corbin slingshotting those elbows right into the midsection. Whips him up off the ropes. Gets taken down with a shoulder block by the cruiserweight champion. Having a few words there off the ropes. Blocks the hip toss and hits one of his own. Hits yet another one. The anarchist Eric Cannon looking very impressive here. Defending his 3XW Cruiserweight Champion. Really taking care of Darren Corbin. Darren Corbin doesn't even know what to do. He's on Dream Street right now. I don't even think he knows where he is. Wait, what a knife edge chop. This is the very first title defense for... Eric Cannon here. Indeed it is. Darren Corbin out there at ringside there trying to catch a breather. Darren Corbin, I don't think he knows quite what to do. Seems a little bit lost out there. Well, he's gone out to figure out his plan here to try to defeat Eric Cannon. Maybe he should leave. I don't think he should leave. Because he isn't doing very well. His fans are vicious. They don't really like Darren Gordon. Just because he's a very colorful wrestler. They're calling him Opie. He does kind of look like Opie. Would you like me to whistle? No. Okay. I was going to say, but uh, if he's Opie, we know definitely that Eric Can is n not uh, associated with any Mayberry type person. Andy Griffith, he is not. No. I was almost considering Otis, but I was like, no. Aunt B? Definitely not Aunt B. Nah, she didn't seem like the Mohawk type. No. Corbin lays some elbows into the midsection, whips him off the ropes, gets taken down with a shoulder block. Eric Cannon. A lot bigger than he is, so I don't think I'd be going straight for a shoulder block. You know, I have to still say that you know Eric Cannon is a big guy for considerations of cruiserweight. He wrestles a lot more of a mat based style, more of a brawling style, exactly, as opposed to I mean, your average he, cruiserweight. He is. He's at that borderline level of cruiserweight to heavyweight, and that's probably the advantage. He has the weight advantage probably nine times out of ten. He usually has a strength advantage as well. Oh, yeah. As opposed to the much. He is out on his feet. He just did the famous Ric Flair flop. He's getting beat like Obi right now. Brutal knife edge shot. So I guess we could say that maybe uh, Obi better go back to his paper route. Oh, God, that's such a horrible reference. Wait a minute. This match could be over right now. I mean, it looks like he may have injured himself. We Let him have some time here. we got to make Maybe. sure he's not hurt. Wait a minute. The heck was that? He's all over Eric Cannon now. Playing possum. And now got him in a modified camel clutch. As he's taking him down. Darren Corbin having a few words with the fans down there at ringside. A double axe handle. Not even letting Eric Cannon get a chance to get back to his feet as he's just draped the leg right across the back and now choking him on that second rope. Eric Cannon does not look very good right now. Oh, all of his weight dropped right down on the throat of Eric Cannon. And now, Darren Corbin feeling quite full of himself. 
has a chance here to win the 3XW Cruiserweight Championship. Taking down Eric Cannon. Eric Cannon looking to defend the 3XW Cruiserweight Championship for the very first time. Corbin there trying to get the fans behind him. Not too many people jumping on that bandwagon. Fans pretty taken with Cannon as the 3XW Cruiserweight Champion. And throughout his history here in 3XW has been a very competent wrestler capturing quite a few victories. Corbin, as we said before, making his debut here in 3XW. Looking to make an impact. And what a better impact to make than in your very first match winning the 3XW Cruiserweight Championship. Eric Cannon now off the ropes. Nice spinning neckbreaker by the Cruiserweight Champion. Hooks the leg, goes for a cover. Corbin able to kick out of two. Well, fans, check out www.3xwrestling.com. Check out the uh, the message board. Check out Outside the Ring, the internet wrestling show that's sweeping the nation. Check out anything you want about 3X Wrestling at www.3xwrestling.com. There's a awkward little move there in the corner instead of pounding on the head, just going for the knife edge chops. Don't see that very often. Corbin going right for the eyes of the eye rake. Not a legal maneuver, but effective nonetheless. Corbin there might be wasting a little bit of time by jawing with the fans at ringside rather than capitalizing on the predicament that Eric Cannon's currently in. Now going right for him. Driving that shoulder right into the midsection of our cruiserweight champion. Oh! Not giving Air Cannon a taste of his own medicine with those slaps in the corner. You hear those things echoing across the arena. But once again, just spends way too much time with the fans, allowing Air Cannon a little bit of time to recuperate. Air Cannon now whipping him off into the ropes. Boy, the steam comes in, tries to catch him with a splash, but just shot himself into that top turnbuckle. Collapsing face first, might have hurt his nose. Capturing that bridge in the nose right on that turnbuckle. Huge lariat by Darren Corbin. Didn't get full body weight on those shoulders there as Eric Cannon able to get the shoulder up. Now applying the chin lock there, perhaps to wear down Eric Cannon. Cannon not quite ready to give it up just yet. You can hear these fans now trying to get their support behind Eric Cannon, trying to get him back to his feet, somehow back into this match where he has a chance of defending the Cruiserweight Championship for the first time. be rather embarrassing to lose that title in your very first title defense. I'm sure Eric Cannon certainly doesn't want to do that. You can see he's trying to fight. He's back to his feet. He's planted elbows to the midsection, but just got his hair pulled. Dirty tactics by Darren Corbin. Just doing anything he can to silence the comeback of Eric Cannon. It's all over him now. Irish will pop to the corner. Darren Corbin now backing up, goes in, and hits him with a huge shoulder block right in the corner. Eric Cannon collapsing into that corner. Once again, they're just spending way too much time with the fans there. There he is off the ropes and goes for a grounded front dropkick. Lands right to the face of Eric Cannon there. Working really hard on that nose that Eric Cannon obviously may have injured when he went for that splash earlier on. But once again, you can see him just wasting way too much time there, gyrating with the fans out there and just leaving Eric Cannon the opportunity to recuperate. He should be going in to capitalize on the win, but obviously he doesn't care enough about it. Well, it's, it's about time my mic works again. Jeez. No, I think they cut you off. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Going up to that top rope. Spent way too much time, but the fans missed the moonsault wide open. And now referee Billy Jay applying the count. One of these guys has got to make contact with the other and get back at their feet or this match could be over. Eric Cannon retaining the 3XW Cruiserweight Championship. 
which would not bode well for Darren Corbin right here in his very first match. Well, it definitely wouldn't. It would uh, probably wouldn't get a rematch in a long time. Cannon's up, and he's fired up. And kind of with a huge open-handed slap right to the face, and yet another one. I have to say, he's cannoning it up right now. He's exploding. Off the ropes, nice looking tornado back elbow. And a clothesline to take down Darren Corbin. Pull out of steam and catches him with another one as he was getting back up. Boot to the gut. And he's calling for it. He's hooking him up. Up and down. The brain buster. Dropped it right on the point of the head. Hooks the leg, hooks both legs. Oh! And he kicked out. I'm surprised Darren Corbin able to kick out of a vicious brain buster by Eric Cannon. Usually when Eric Cannon lands that brain buster, you aren't kicking out. Clubs in there with the wide right hand of Anarchy. And a knife edge chop in the corner. Yet another knife edge chop. Irish up off the ropes. Eric Cannon. Runs right into the foot of Darren Corbin. And the ace crusher. Impressive maneuver by Darren Corbin. Darren Corbin almost got the three count. Two and three fourths. I thought we were going to have to have a new Cruiserweight champion there. Yes, we almost did announce the new 3XW Cruiserweight champion is Darren Corbin. It would be rather embarrassing for Eric Cannon to lose that title on this very first title defense. And I'm sure he wouldn't want to show his face around 3XW much longer, having lost that title after one title defense. Reversal by Eric Cannon. Eric Cannon goes for the short arm clothesline. Darren Corbin ducks that. Darren Corbin looked like he was going for the ace crusher. Blocked by Eric Cannon. Eric Cannon's got him up in a T-bone suplex. Dropped him right on the back of his neck. Snap that head right to the mat. Eric Cannon sounds like he's getting fired up now. Remember fans to check out www.3xwrestling.com and there is the instant Gary. Takes him out. And you can call this one over. Eric Cannon retaining the 3XW Cruiserweight Champion. This has been the voice of 3XW Chad Milan, and here, sparingly, with Skylar Pierce.